everyone, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for visiting me on my channel. Today I would just like to do a quick video showcasing my favorite skincare products of 2022. A lot of the products are new and some of them are products that I rediscovered but all the products are products that I reached for the most last year. I will start off with cleansers. I found this year three really great cleansers and for me a good cleanser is a cleanser which does not dry the skin, it does not strip the skin, it leaves my skin looking well nourished and healthy. The first cleanser, it is from a brand called, uh, it's called Siren. It is their aqua gel oil to foam cleanser. This does not focus very well. I will leave a picture. This is a brand out of New Zealand. It is relatively new to me. I found this by going through the Niche Beauty website. I am close to finishing this cleanser and by the way, I already went ahead. I ordered an introductory set from this brand and I will be testing it shortly. I am hoping I do get it in this week. I ordered a face cream, the essence, I believe there's also a mask and some toning product. This really was for me a great find. This is an oil to foam cleanser. I don't think I have any oil to foam cleansers in my arsenal. By the way, this brand, everything, it is based on the ocean and marine ingredients. The next cleanser, it is from Anna Marie Berlin. Anna Marie Berlin, it is a natural skincare company. However, their formulations are very scientifically based and they do have a lot of products. This cleanser, it is called the um, PR3 Power of Three Roses. It is from the Rose Nature series and this is an oil to milk cleanser. This did a really great job of removing makeup, left my skin very soft and plump. By the way, I will be doing a full review on this uh, series. I started on this after I was done with the Nivea 360 products. Guys, as you know, when I am testing skincare products, I only use those products that I am testing in case something goes wrong, I have irritation or other side effects. I know exactly which products they are. So this one was an awesome cleanser. And the next one, this was already in my empties. I already spoke to you guys about this in my skincare video. This one, it is the Soul Care. It is called the Golden Cleanser. This was awesome and again, a definite rebuy for me. In keeping with cleanser, another awesome product I was happy to find. This one, it is from Augustinus Bada and it is called the Cleansing Balm. While this is on the pricier side of things, Augustinus Bada products, the entire line, it is a bit expensive. However, there are some really awesome products in this line and this cleansing balm is one of them. Last year, I found myself using this one and the Clinique Take the Day Off. This one was okay, the Take the Day Off, but it was, in my opinion, not as good as the one from Augustinus Bada. Also, this one a little bit goes a long way, so I think to get the same effect, the same level, of cleanliness from the Clinique product, 
I had to use twice as much. So I am not sure if the Clinique is really that much more cheaper than this one. In terms of cleansing masks, the one which really blew me away, it is this one from Suzanne Kaufman. It is called the Glow Mask. Suzanne Kaufman, it is a bio-organic uh, line. They are based in Austria, in the Alps. It is more of what you would say a brand you get in spas and institutes. I do believe they have their own uh, spa. I think they are in Brigance somewhere in the Austrian Alps. This is really awesome. It left my skin glowy and very smooth. This one is a definite rebuy. The last cleansing product, it's white, it will not focus. This is a peeling and exfoliating scrub. This one is from Baboa. Baboa is a brand that you get in the apothecary and also they do have professional products that you can buy in spas or in institutes. This was an awesome scrub and I really enjoyed using it. On to serums and moisturizers. One of the products that I found myself really loving, this is the Divine Skin Rose 001, the essence. This one is from Pat McGrath Labs. It is a quasi, I would say, hybrid product. It's an essence. It can be used as a cleanser, but I do love this under matte foundations. It gives a very nice glow. Also in the summer when we were having the heat wave, I used this alone and I applied my sunscreen on top. This is an awesome product. The only thing I did not like is the packaging. It doesn't have a pump, so it has to be applied in the hand. I think I would have used a lot more had this come with a pump. The next product on my list, this one is from Anna Marie Berland also. It is from the Rose Nature line. And this one, it is a blue light protection spray, an antioxidant. This is the first product that I bought from this series. And I did like this so much that I decided to get more products. So this one, I use this a lot this year. It is a very nice antioxidant. It does have a rose aroma. So this is definitely not something for people who do not like a bit of aroma fragrance in their skincare. It does dissipate quite quickly, but it's there. One of my really good finds in 2022 for combating hyperpigmentation. This was the essence from Augustinus Bada. It is just called the essence. This is really awesome, especially for women of color. This essence, it really helped when I had very dark blemishes. I do love this product and I will keep buying it. In terms of eye cream, I did also use and like the Rose Nature eye cream. I am going to do a full video on this series. Like I said, I am almost through testing it. I normally test for at least six weeks and um, the rest of the products, I am not through with them but I will do a dedicated video on this series from Anna Marie Berlin. But this eye cream, it is called Cooling Spa Eye Cream Gel. It is more of, you would say, um, a mousse 
consistency it's very cooling and this left my under eye area very moisturized and also if my eyes were irritated this really helped so this one is definitely a good find this year also for eye cream yeah one of the products i used a lot it is the Augustinus Bader, the cream. I mean, this works so well under the eye area. And prior to Augustinus Bader having their own eye cream, it was recommended for the under eye area. I like the effect of it. I like the results. So I did not buy many other eye creams in 2022 because I have the cream and the results were stunning. Next on my list are serums and creams. I did not find many creams and serums this year which really stood out based on a uh, formula and ingredients. The first one I would like to talk about where I used uh, the entire bottle. This one, it is coming from the Red Camellia line from Chanel, the number one day Chanel. The Red Camellia line from Chanel, there are some really good products. The formulation is quite good. I bought, I believe, the lotion and also this serum, which is completely empty. It did do a really good job of moisturizing uh, my skin. So this one was a good find. Another cream which I found to be exceptional, it is from Nivea. This is called the Cellular Luminous 630 Anti-Pigmentation Cream. The Luminous 630 line from Nivea, there are a lot of products. I have a full review on my channel. I tested these products for over two months. I did see great results, but the gem in this line for me it was this night cream. It is a regenerating night cream which is formulated to combat hyperpigmentation, age spots, and other kinds of discoloration of the skin. Guys, this was a good find. I had fun testing this line and I will continue to buy this one. In terms of sunscreen, the one which stood out, this is the Ultra Sun Alpine SPF 50 sunscreen. This is a very high SPF sunscreen, but at the same time, it is completely transparent. So this one, I used a lot of it this summer. Another serum that I did enjoy using, it's not a serum, it is called a youth water oil. This is the Abbe Royal line from Guillain. It is an entire series of skincare from Guillain. After using this serum, yeah, my skin always looked very fresh and it did add a bit of luminosity, uh, general a healthy flush to my skin. This one, it is worth mentioning. This is terribly expensive. I do get a lot of five milliliter. My experience with the few products I have used are all positive. In terms of body products, I loved this uh, Coco Mademoiselle. This is the Velvet Body Oil. This was awesome. It is a rebuy. Actually, if there was one product I should have bought on the Canary Islands, it was this because cosmetic products are a lot cheaper because they only have on the islands 7% VAT. Yeah? And I forgot that I needed this. I did purchase 
a few perfumes, but I completely forgot about this velvet body oil. This was a dream. These body creams from Yves Rocher, they got a lot of wear from me this year. I used some of the Karite products. This one, it is mango and coriander. In terms of aroma, it is a very unusual mixture. These body lotions, they leave the skin very well moisturized. They are not greasy and they absorb quite easily, quickly. Next product, it is the 946 Youth Firming Cream. It is from Maria Guillain. Maria Guillain, it is more of a spa brand, an institute brand. This brand, it is offered at most high-end spas and institutes in Europe. The products are priced, I would say, the same as department store and above, but this firming cream, I found it to be very effective and um, I did see some results. I started using it early in the spring, you know, because I wanted well-toned skin for my bikini figure in the summer. I did notice some firming of the skin and it is a product that I will try again next year. Actually, guys, my favorite body toning lotion, it is from Nivea. Yeah? This is the Q10 body toning lotion. I don't think this one needs much of an introduction. It is very well loved and this has been on the market for quite some time. Another product that I have used and would like to mention, this product, it is from the company Valmont, Switzerland. It is called the C-Curve Shaper. I used this sometime in the past and I also saw quite good results but this one, it is terribly expensive. It is costing 298 euros for 200 milliliters. But I thought I would mention it because I did love this cream very much in terms of combating cellulite and toning the body these are the three creams that i have made great experiences with there is also one from biotherm but I have not bought it in a while. It is also always on the top 10 list with Nivea and other uh, body toning products. But these three, I can really recommend. I did find a lot of shower gels this year. I mean, I use a lot of different shower gels, but the two which really made me sing in the shower, the first one, it is from Clara, and this one, it is called Relax, Bath and Shower Concentrate. I love this a lot in the summer because it does have a bit of a menthol aroma and it was very refreshing. The star of body and shower gels in 2022. This one was from Parfum Mikalev and it is just called the hair and body wash and in citrus. I was always so happy to jump into the shower because of this, you know, shower gel, hair wash, whatever you call it. Actually, when I am ordering perfumes again, this will be on the list because I love it so much. I have two products for hair care, so I will just include it in this video. The two products are from Augustinus Bada. It is the Agostinus Bada, the shampoo, and Agostinus Bada, the conditioner. These two hair care products were for me in 2022 the best that I have tried. They are awesome products and they are not 
too expensive for Augustina's Bada products. The shampoo and the conditioner together did wonders for my hair and I will recommend and I can recommend those to anyone looking for a good shampoo and conditioner regardless of your hair type. This is it for the products which really drive me nuts. Guys, this year, honestly, this was a year for me more for makeup and perfume. Skincare, I did not see many new innovations. What I did see was a lot of makeup brands coming out with their own skincare lines but honestly, when I looked at a lot of the formulations, the ingredients in those products, a lot of them were mediocre at best. There were so many retinol creams and vitamin C creams being packaged in clear glass and also everyone had a hyaluronic acid cream. But frankly, I think a lot of these products were simply private labeled because a lot of the formulas were the same. So mm, I stayed away from a lot of these products because I already had uh, better products in my collection. I mean, when buying skincare, what I look for most, it is the ingredients and the formula, yeah? And also I don't have a ton of products because when I am doing reviews and I am testing skincare products, especially serums and creams, in order to see if these products are effective, you need to test them for at least two months. And you can only test so many creams, serums, lotions in one year. I mean, it is something different to just introduce a product as opposed to saying I have used it and it is effective. Anyway, this is it guys. Let me know if you found any products that I missed. I know in Europe, sometimes we do not get a lot of the stuff which is uh, introduced in Asia or in the US. And also in Europe, a lot of skincare is purchased in the apothecary or in institutes and spas. I did have a few of those, but please leave me a few lines letting me know what you've been using. Actually, I did decide to try the Keys line upon a recommendation from one of my viewers. Thank you so very much, Mami Louise. I will be trying more products from this line. So please keep sending me your recommendations. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care and hope to see you again soon. Tschüss!